In this video I would like to show a PS525 in operation. This is not an official training video but instead intended to show you what this unit looks and acts like in actual operation. As you can see here I have set up some aircraft instruments. An airspeed, a vertical speed indicator, and an altimeter. They're all plumbed as in an actual aircraft. So I'm going to open, in this case, the um, vent control valve. I've already uh, charged the vacuum pump. The reservoir is full. I'm going to open the vacuum control gently. And it will begin to climb. Here I can set it to about a thousand feet a minute so it's climbing here of course the airspeed is going up because I have this cross bleed closed and so it's going to indicate an airspeed as well now I can go up to a higher vertical speed Or I could go even higher. Now, of course, I don't want the airspeed to be exceeded for the capacity of the instrument. In this case, then I'll open up the cross bleed and equalize the pressure across them, which will. Uh, bring the system back down until it reaches equilibrium with equal pressure on both sides and then it will continue to climb again since I still have the vacuum valve open and in this case now that that's open I can safely climb to higher altitudes without exceeding the airspeed indicator. I just don't want to exceed the capacity of the vertical speed indicator. I'll go up to about 5,000 feet or so, 6,000. Okay. And see, I'll shoot on up to about 6,000 feet. These are not calibrated instruments, they're just something I had on the shelf. But you can see what it's doing now. I'll close the vacuum uh, so that there's no additional vacuum being presented into the system. The VSI, of course, will go back to zero. Airspeed will stop where it is. And then I can open up the vacuum vent to allow ambient air pressure to go into the system to bring it back down to ambient air pressure. And of course, I can control the vertical speed with the vacuum vent in that case. It's actually, I forgot, it's better, wiser to use the pressure vent in this case because that way it introduces a little bit of a slight pressure differential in the airspeed and actually even if you can't see it, it keeps the air pressure, the airspeed out of positive airspeed. And so it's better if the cross bit is open to go down with the pressure vent side and so there it goes a positive airspeed while we're going down so I don't give it a negative airspeed
and I'll try to go a little faster for sake of time. And three. Four thousand feet per minute. And as the ambient pressure equalizes, I have to keep opening the valve more and more uh, because there's less and less of a pressure differential. And it eventually gets to where not much changes with the valve. The system is reaching ambient air pressure. All right, now I'll close the cross bleed valve, close the vent, pressure vent valve, and there's no pressure in the reservoir right now. I'll turn on the pump for a little bit. That puts the pressure in it, and I'll open this pressure control valve and bring this up to a certain airspeed. That's about 60 knots here, 61, and it's right at 60 there, 62. And I can go up to about 100, 100 here, 101, and 100 here. And just open it some more to go whatever speed I want to go to about 150 again this is not a calibrated instrument on the top but there it is and um, so then I'll open the pressure vent valve again to bring it back down to ambient air pressure And that's it. With this demonstration, you've seen the PS525 in a real live simulated scenario as it would be with actual aircraft instruments connected. For more information, you can go to PrestonPressure.com. At that website, you can see our various models and you can also download our manuals for each of our test sets.